Okay, I wanted to do a, a quick video here of purchasing spare parts. Let me throw my gum out. Uh, my spare parts uh, that I need for my 1956 Angola 100E. It's a little two-door sedan, right-hand drive. And, uh, of course, it's been anemic. But I wanted to... I, I ordered this... God, like, it doesn't even seem like a week ago, and it's already here from from the United Kingdom, uh, from the UK. So I'm pretty excited about getting it so fast, and the parts are just absolutely nice. Nice, nice, nice. I guess I could take that out of there. Uh, look at this beautiful Lucas. It's a correct part. Look how nicely made that is. It's a beautiful piece. And then all the, uh, however you want to attach uh, your blade uh, style and the nuts and everything. But this piece here, I mean, look at that. I don't think the light's very good in here. Yeah, there you go. Not a beautiful piece. But, uh, you know, even though the technology was, uh, you know, lower then, the uh, craftsmanship was so damn high on these parts. And the little rotor. Look at that. Remove to oil. The prices were really good. Uh, the parts are all correct. And uh, they know what they're doing over there at uh, Small Ford Spares. You can find them on the internet. Um, okay, I had to take the spark plug wires out. These are uh, NGK. And uh, they are the real deal. Very nice quality. The little rubber boot there. So nice. But anyway, good job in shipping and the material. Everything looks good to go. It's a new and fresh. If it's not new, they did a hell of a restoration job on all these parts. Even the spark plugs. So anyway, that's it then. And uh, let's go look at the car. Here's the car. It shouldn't be sitting outside, but I don't have any room for it in my, in my two car garage. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. Here, I'll show a little bit. Here we go. A little bit of the little, uh, little Ford, little small Ford. And I like these mirrors here. Um, you can turn them like that to keep them from being busted off by passerbys. Passersby. I guess it would be not passerby. Well, I guess if there's only one guy, he'd be a passerby. More than one of the passers by. Yeah, I wanted to include the uh, the radiator hoses that I got from uh, small Ford spares. And uh, you know the crazy thing is, is they're very pliable. I mean, that's some good quality hose. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to be, well, I don't know when this would have been made. Uh, I doubt it was the, uh, the 50s. Probably in the 70s or 80s. Maybe 90s. Uh, and then this pipe here, coolant pipe, is the upper pipe. Radi radiator, radiator hose. 
And uh, but this is such a neat piece here. And it's very pliable, supple, as I like to say. But uh, yeah, you don't want to sit down on that if you're out gardening. No, that I don't know what that means. But uh, very nice spares from uh, small Ford spares. Oh yeah, their their site says, hey, expect super long delays. Uh, uh, shipping is a real problem, yada yada. So I'm thinking, well, the parts will be here within three months, and they get here in less than seven days. So I'm very happy about that. Now I can go out and work on the car. Okay, thank you very much. Here's their logos like that. All righty, okay, thank you. Uh huh, you bet. All right. Goodbye. All right. Okay. No, you hang up first. Okay. You bet. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. It's chili season or pasole season here in uh, Albuquerque, home of Breaking Bad. And uh, this is where uh, where Baby Gaby and Al Hurt are from. Or I'm sorry, Al Hurricane. The famous Al Hurricane in these parts. All right, I'll get it running and I'll do another video. And uh, so I'm ready to go. All right, thanks. Okay, you bet. All right, okay, you bet. Uh -huh. No, no, you hang up first. No, you. Okay, bye-bye. Not only that, but the parcel that they shipped it in. Very nice, everything was bagged very nicely so okay that's it i'm hanging up now okay thanks you bet all right okay well i'll call you later okay right on bye-bye